views feed. Use this if you want to show feeds on your page. Feed consists of a number of events and they're usually found, for example, on social network pages. Here we see the different variations. We can have an event with normal text, event with summary, event with summary and link. We can have an event with image as the label or icon as the label. We can also add a date here and some extra text. We can also use extra images and we can have metadata with likes like so down here. Finally, we can have three sizes, small, the medium, which is the default, and a large. Let's see how we create all of this. First of all, we need a wrapping element with the class's UI feed. Inside of this, we add our events. So we add a div tag with the class event. Inside of this, we now create a wrapper for our content. So we add one more div tag with the class content. And here I will now paste in some text and close the div tag again. Let's take a quick look in our browser. I'll select right tab and refresh. Now we see the event here. Now let's change this into a summary. We'll copy this. And I'll create one more div tag here with the class summary. So the text goes inside of the summary class. Let's save and go back and refresh. Now we see that the text has been highlighted as a summary. We can also have a link appear inside of a summary. So I'll just add an A tag around this word here. Save it, go back and refresh. Now we can see our link. Let's see how we can use an image as a label. We'll copy in our event here. I'll just copy a standard event like so. Okay. Now we want to add a div tag with the class label. And inside of this, we want to use an image as our label. So we use an image included in this learning kit with this address. Like so. Now, notice that the label is a sibling to the content inside of the event class. Let's go back and refresh. Now we have the event with image as a label and the text. We can also use an icon as a label. We'll copy the code up here and then we'll change the image tag to an i tag and give it the classes <clears throat> check icon and close the eye check again. Let's go back and take a look in the browser. Here we have the event event with icon as a label. Now let's see how we can create an event with date. I'll just scroll up and pick the event with image and I'll use a summary inside of the content. Great. Now to add a date, we simply add the div tag with the class date. And now you can write your text or date. So let's see that in the browser. Here we have our date. You can also add extra text to the content. To do this, we add a div tag with the class extra text. Now I'll just 
paste in some text and close the div tag again. Let's save this and go back and take a look. Here we have our event with extra text. I was doing this the wrong place, so I'll just copy this and fix it like so. Now let's go back and refresh. Here we see the event with extra text. Now let's see how we can have an event with extra images. So I'll just copy this, paste it in here. To create a section with extra images, we have a div tag with the class extra and images. Inside of this, we can now add an image tag from the learning kit here. I'll use this image three times. Let's save this and go back and take a look. Here we see our event with extra images. I'll now copy this again, paste it in here. Now let's see how we can create an event with metadata, with likes. To do this, we have a div tag with the class meta. And inside of this, we have an anchor with the class like. Inside of this, we have an icon, the like icon with the classes like and icon, and the text 10 likes. Let's save this and go back and take a look. Now we see our like button or anchor. When we hover it, it gets the red color. Finally, let's look at how we can have different sizes of feet. I'll just scroll up and pick this event here, or this feet here, paste it in there. Now I'll duplicate the event like so. To make an feed appear small, we need to add the class small to the parent element so it becomes UI small feed. To create a medium feed, which is default, we don't have to do anything, so I'll remove that class again. And to make a large feed, we need to use the large class instead of the small. So I'll do that, save, and go back and refresh. Now we see our small, medium, and large feeds. This was all about how you can use feed in your page.